JJ, this is for you. Um, in the first quarter, the sky were being quite physical with you all, and it seemed like the whistle maybe wasn't going your way. But then when you look at the box and, and the rest of the game, you all outscored them 20 to 7 at the line. So I'm just curious how you all were able to find a physicality and a toughness and exploit Chicago, while in the past that was a struggle. Yeah, they're the type of team that, you know, you want to kind of uh, – you know, be physical at the beginning of the game and not allow them to kind of bring it to you and then you're on your back foot because then it's a kind of a little bit too late. So we just came in with that toughness, understanding that, you know, that's their ammo is to be a really physical team, try to muck the game up a little bit and make it messy. And um, we understood that coming in. Coach, just congrats on another win tonight. I want to ask you in terms of how you dealt with Marina Mabry after she got off at the beginning with the threes, how you were able to then make sure she didn't even take Basically, another three. Your yeah. thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, she's a great player, but we um, left her open. We didn't execute the scout. Um, not Can never go underneath her or, or leave her open. And we kept size on her. I think um, Kayla Thornton did a fantastic job on her. It's just just staying skin on skin. And then we, when we did switch, we just made it hard for her. I mean, if, she, uh, if you leave her open, great players are going to put the ball in the hole. Hello all, congrats on the win. Um, this will be a question for both the coach and the players. Um, Leonie Fiebisch comes into the lineup tonight. Uh, at first she replaced Courtney Vandersloot in the five, but now she's play replacing Benaja Laney, one of the top two-way players in the game. So what can you say about the way she has endeared herself to this lineup to make sure that a step is not lost even in the event of medical emergency? So for both uh, coach and one of the players, whoever feels more comfortable answering, please. Yep, I mean, she's great. I mean. Um, she's got good size, uh, lo loves defense, knows how to execute well. And, and, you know, we're putting her on, we're playing her, okay, B, here we go. This is what B does, guard Kennedy Carter. And yeah, I don't know Kennedy had 22 tonight, but I thought we did a pretty good job on her for overall. Um, and a lot of time it wasn't really on, um, on Leo. But, you know, her ability to knock down threes and to move the ball, to make decisions with the ball, you know, her assist, the skip pass, I think she has good poise on that. And she's a player, like in the last game, we put her a little bit more in the pick and rolls as well. I think she's got good versatility and, you know, um, yeah, she's stepping up when we need it, but she, she plays whatever role the team needs. Um, I mean, she's at a plus 27. That's um, good. As a rookie, you know, like that, that doesn't happen often. Um, her ability to come in with poise, know who to get the ball to, understand when she needs to take her shots, when she needs to continue to find players, pass the ball. She takes the right shots, um, gets the ball in the right people's hands. And that's kind of something you can't really teach. And I think it's something she's picked up really quick and why she's transitioned really well into the starting lineup because she just understands her role and what she needs to do and play, plays it to the best of her ability. But a plus 27 from a rookie to come in on this team and do that um, is pretty impressive. Like, I'm impressed. And so continuing to pour into her to be able to do what she does for us because we need her. Hi, everybody. Um, for Sandy, in the first quarter, Kennedy Carter was able to get a lot of shots at the rim and drives to the basket. But after that, only three uh, only three shot attempts at the rim the rest of the game. How do you think the group was able to adjust to what she was doing and make things harder for her? Yeah, look, we were we obviously um, trying to keep her out of the paint. <laughs> we didn't succeed in the first quarter, but, you know, I think... Uh, um, it was, it's more our closeouts. I think we are giving her too many direct drives early, so we just tidied that up. Um, you know, rim protection got better, and I mean, I think JJ had a fantastic game tonight, just that rim protection there. She got us on when we did switch in the paint, jumping over people. She's just, I mean, she can just jump out of the gym, can't she? It's crazy. Um, yeah, good, good little player there. So we try to keep size in her as much as we can and entice her to take those mid-range shots. My question is also for Sandy. Um, you shot eight for 21 from two in the first half, and it was nine of 15 by the time you took the starters out in the second half. So what really was the difference in your mind there? Were you able to generate shots in the second? Yeah, um, put the ball in Sabrina's hand. Ball was going in. She's a pretty special player, and she, uh, um, I think that helps. And it makes it hard. We're putting, you know, obviously her and JJ and Stewie in action, and they don't know if they need to switch or not. And you know, this is our big three. So we played through them a fair bit. And uh, I know Sabrina had a pretty, uh, you know, her untypical start to the game, but you never can keep it down for, for more than 20 minutes. And she showed that in the second half. 
I, this is for anyone who wants to take it. Uh, this city loves players who leave it all out on the floor. And Kayla feels like the embodiment of that player. And there was a cool moment in the fourth quarter where she kind of runs into the tunnel, then reemerges <laughs> to a massive ovation. Uh, <laughs> j just how nice was that to see that, that appreciation for a game like this, which is just a classic KT game? Yeah, loved it. <laughs> Loved it. And it was it was off of my turnover too, so I loved it even more. Than she got <laughs> back there and saved me. So, um, but yeah, that's what KT does, and and she understands her role, and she does it to the best of her ability. And um, we need more of that from her to just continue to just leave it all out there, um, and we're a better team when she does it. Hey, Sab, as Sandy just alluded to, you had a, a tough first quarter, but from second quarter on, you shot seven of 10. How were you able to make adjustments and, and not stay down after a rough shooting start and, and lock back into the game? Yeah, I mean, uh, just continuing to trust the looks I was getting. I, I was getting good looks at the basket. Uh, they were just long. And so um, continuing to just adjust um, in game my shot, trusting in my shooting ability, knowing um, continuing to get good looks and, and find ways to get my teammates open. I think, you know, driving and getting into the pick and roll with JJ was really beneficial for us in that fourth quarter. And so um, kind of just, you know, believing in the work I've put in. I've shot a lot and, um, you know, I know they're going to go in if I can continue to get to my spots and, you know, kind of hung my head at halftime and then came back, you know, t to start that third with um, kind of an understanding, like, I, I need to go out there and, and get the ball in the basket for this team to win. And um, just, you know, thankful that I had that opportunity to go out there and get good looks. Uh, Sandy, you've talked a lot about defense uh, for this team this season, but when you saw the team not necessarily starting the way they were supposed to, whether or not it was not following the scout or whatnot, how important is it for the team to, to not let that last the whole game and to, to flip that script? And how did you see them do that tonight? Yeah, yeah, and it was tough. I mean, it was uh, too many easy baskets in that first quarter. And yeah, coming off a back-to-back, -back, I suppose it's no surprise there. But this is a veteran team, an experienced team. Um, you know, they can lock in. We've got great leadership, especially, you know, these two, the big three, they really lead the way. Like, there's a commitment to excellence, even if you struggled in one quarter. You know, they're always encouraging each other, come on, let's do it and let's be better. Um, and, and that helps. You've got to keep everyone on the same page because defence involves five people. So it's not just uh, the one person on the ball, it's everyone. And I think once we lock into that, that's when our, you know, that's when our greatness shows. Hey, Sab, back here. Oh, you kind of alluded to before uh, getting JJ involved, picking real actions. You kind of see the offense kind of be a little more fluid. Uh, there's more space when you kind of get involved with the ball, kind of see the defense kind of created to her and open opportunities for you and anyone else. I mean, you know, to be honest, like that, it's my job. Um, I take a lot of pride in my ability to get players open. Um, and my, under you know, obviously I understand what JJ brings to our team when she's able to, you know, catch the ball out of a pick and roll and continue to attack, shoot the ball, space the floor, rebound. Um, and so I, I take it personal. Like when she doesn't get touches, you know, I, I go back and figure out ways that I can continue to help get her open with my passing ability and the gravity that I have when I come off pick and rolls. Um, and I know she's doing everything she can to try and get me open as well so it's a two-way street and um I think you know we've really bought into just it, it's a long game like you know when when one thing's going you continue to stay with it and then when they adjust we're able to just adjust quickly and continue to find ways to attack and being able to see how poised she was um down the stretch we couldn't get her looks really early on but then you know throughout the game we got great looks when we needed she got a big and one and um continuing to just you know establish her in the paint and that's why we win games hey coach uh, obviously, uh, Sabali today in those limited minutes still had two blocks, a couple rebounds, and had that bucket in in that game as well. Just what did you see in those limited minutes, and how did you like her in her first game back? Yeah, I liked it a lot. You could just in, you can put the vision, you know, at the start of the year how she'd complement the play other players that we have. Um, she was on limited minutes, obviously, so we went as much as we could, and uh, I think the second uh, time she got in, she felt more comfortable. Um, and that's, she hasn't played for a month, so that's kind of normal. But you just see how explosive, how well she rolls and can finish at the rim. Uh, it's another big body for rebounding and defence in there too. So it was very encouraging. Um, I think she was uh, excited to be back. She's feeling good, and that's the most important. Hopefully we can continue to build her up leading into the Olympic break. Hey, Coach, you spoke about defence a little bit earlier. Um, today you guys forced 13 turnovers for uh, 21 points tonight. You know, um, in moments where the offense isn't playing well, especially in the first half, you know, what does it say about this team finding ways to be effective and still kind of finding ways to grit this one out? It's, it's a basketball game, isn't it? It's played at two ends. 
you know, I'd love to, if we could score 100 every game, but it's not going to happen every game because the, this is the WNBA and every opponent is different, isn't it? Um, um, so we just need, it's like a chess game. So we have to work out, but we always have to hang our hat on defense. Defense wins championships. I know all coaches say that, but you know I'm a firm believer. I, I think um, we've got the we got the tools to be a great defensive team. It's the consistency, and we know it, we've shown it a lot this year too. When we lock in, I mean we can lock teams down too. Now not always for 40 minutes, but we know how to to raise the level and um, it's just the communication and the trust that they have. I think that's pretty special, but. Um, we're going to continue to get better. We're not where we want to be, but we're on the right track. Uh, this question is for JJ. Uh, JJ, tonight was your second game of the season with a double-double and at least three assists and three blocks. How important is it for you to just set the tone and be effective on multiple aspects of the floor, not just on the interior? I'm sorry, what was the ending part? Oh, like how, <laughs> <laughs> how important is it for you to be effective, not just on the interior, but on the perimeter with your playmaking, your blocking? Yeah, just, just finding else. different ways to affect the game, um, different ways to help the team, and that's what it's about. For Sabrina and JJ, so largest crowd ever for a Liberty game at Barclays Center. I just wondered, how much do you guys feed off the crowd? How much do, uh, how much do they uplift you? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's, um, I mean, it's amazing. They were um, dialed in. They helped us. W when we were on our run, it felt like, um, you know, the ground was shaking, how excited they were, um, continuing to lift us up, like on defense, when KT makes that steal and, and they're cheering, when we're scoring and hitting threes in transition and, um, you know, we need them. We need their support our, all year long. We were on a back-to-back. -back. You know, if they came out and kind of were dead, we, we might have been too. But I think being able to see how committed they are to wanting to watch us play, and we don't take any, the, any of these moments for granted. Like, we understand what a blessing it is to be able to play at home in front of 17,000 fans. This is a game you got to show up and, and understand that you're – playing, you know, potentially for the first time in front of a new fan and what lasting impact do you want to leave on someone that's coming and um, understanding that we have the potential to do that and obviously very thankful for the fans that show up for us every single day. Uh, Sandy, with, um, you spoke about defense before and with Reese, she was, she was just five for 17. She barely got her double-double. So why were you guys so effective against her and how important was that to winning this game? We have John, Kel John Quell Jones and um, Brianna Stewart. It's, uh, I think they, they just anchor us. Uh, we do a really good job of protecting the rim, you know, because we've got these players. They anticipate really well. Um, you know, we made it hard for us. She's still got a double double, so the, the fans love that. Um, yeah, she's she's a she's a tough competitor, you know, and and we have to be locked in, and and that's what the players were. They they took pride in, you know, doing a good job on her, and you know, helped us get the the win tonight. 